This is the new car to the channel. It's a 2004 Infiniti G35. Has 280 horsepower. And yeah, this needs a lot of work. It's the Arizona car. So we're going to repaint this, get some different rims eventually. These do come with Brembo's, which is very nice. Uh, but yeah, now we'll get to the subject of the video. Ugh. Which is we will be installing, well, this is already installed, but we'll be installing this brand new weighted shift knob for G35. All right, today we'll be replacing this worn out old shifter with a weighted shifter um, and we'll also be fixing the g35 radio towards the end but yeah this is the new weighted shifter it doesn't have any we chose not to put any of the markings on the top so we didn't have to worry about uh twisting it the right way to get the numbers to line but yeah this weighs about 520 grams or 1.1 pounds and we will be like I said, replacing the stock six-speed shifter in the Infiniti G35. All right, next thing you're gonna need is some gloves that will offer some heat proofing um, and some insulation. So when you touch the hot shift knob, next thing you'll need is a heat gun and a glove to touch the hot shift knob. There's some Loctite on the, um, old shift knob and we need to heat it up to break it loose. All right, now just get your heat gun, turn it on, heat up where the threads are, and we'll just twist it off and put the new one on. So this is what the shift knob looks like after. It was a huge pain in the butt to uh, take this off. We had to use this pipe wrench and twist it off with the smaller one holding the bottom underneath the boot. Uh, but yeah, it was a, we tried using the heat gun, but it wasn't really getting to it. But yeah, it kind of destroyed the knob in the process. But yeah, that is uh, what it looks like after taking it off. Now that we have the, uh, old shift knob off and we've ripped off this component of it uh, and unplugged it of course you have to buy one of these that matches your thread forgot what they're called but it basically allows you to zip tie the boot to this so we're going to screw it on and get it all the way down and this is your thread adapter and once we get the boot zip tied here, then we're going to put this on, followed by the new shift knob. Okay, so this is what the zip tie looks like. You drop the boot over the black piece, and then you zip tie it on the ridge on the black uh, thing. And you have to buy it separate with your uh, shift knob, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Now all you have to do is plug back in your hazard light, uh, and then put this piece back in. Uh, and then for the last step that we just use very thin zip ties because the ridge is uh, not that small. But yeah, use thin zip ties. And plug it in, reassemble it, and then we'll put on the new shift knob. All right, so now that this piece is back on and it's all clipped in, get your thread adapter, screw it on. And this is where you'd probably, if you're, if you're permanently keeping this, this is where you'd put some Loctite on here, but as of now, we're just testing it out, so we don't know. Put some, put this on here, screw it all the way in, and you wanna get it pretty tight. And this is about as good as it's gonna get. And then we're gonna put the new shift knob on. Get it real tight. There 
And yep, that's your new shift knob. It's uh, this is, again is 1.1 pounds, and uh, yeah, it should feel a lot better now.